Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey again, and in this lesson, we're going to introduce some gravity into our game. We're also going to introduce some solid objects such as the floor, and we're also going to put in some movement so our skater is going to slowly move on along the horizontal axis until we reach a maximum point. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the movement code. Now, if we open up our room here, we know that our player starts here on the left and we want them to just kind of move along to the right. So what we want to do is figure out a good spot where we want our player to stop. And I'm just going to put just a little bit over halfway. I want them to stop here at 272. So let's put our player all the way back. And I'll close the room and open up our player, which I already have him open here. In the create event, we're going to create two new variables. We're going to create an acceleration variable, and this is going to be how fast our player is going to move horizontally. We're also going to create a max x position, and we're going to set this to 272. So we're going to make sure that we're no, we're not going to go past this x position, and if we're not, we're going to accelerate uh, 0.5 pixels every step. Now what we want to do is we also want to make sure that we are in our either our idle or step down. So we can do a little check to make sure that later down the road when we're adding different states, uh, we can't be moving forward when we jump or we fall. So we'll just, let's put everything inside a region and we'll just say horizontal, horizontal movement and then we'll end our region here and we'll just, we're just doing this to keep our code a little bit cleaner. So we can say if our state is equal to player state, sorry about that, I can't really spell right now, player state dot idle, or our state is equal to player state dot step down, then we want to run this code. So in here, all I want to do is make sure that we are not beyond our maximum position. So if x is less or equal to the max x position, then x is going to be plus or equal to our acceleration variable. All right, so if we run our game again, what should happen is slowly our player is going to be moving across the screen. And it looks like I have a little bit of an error here. Uh, acceleration not set before reading. So we've obviously just spelled something wrong here. There we go. Acceleration was spelled differently. All right, so let's run this again and let's see what we get this time. Now you can see our player is kind of going across here to the right and when they hit the maximum x position they're no longer going to be uh, moving so they're going to stop here. And we'll just make sure that the player stops and it should be right around here. So yes the player has stopped and so they're no longer moving. So what's going to happen is objects are going to come from the right and go towards the left. So if our player hits it, he's going to move backwards. And basically, um, once you get to the end of the screen here, that's when the game is going to be over. And then um, once he's off the object, he can go forward towards the right until he gets to this maximum position. So that's pretty good for the first part here. So we're going to have to introduce some jumping mechanism. So what we're going to do is if we take a look at our room, right now we don't have anything set up to say an object is solid or not. So we're going to go into our sprites and we'll create a brand new sprite. We'll just call this SPR solid. And we'll just say edit image. And you can make this any color you want. I'm just going to choose pink here and I will just fill this in. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to resize this to 32 pixels by 32 just because that's kind of what everything is already used as. Now I'm going to create a new object, call it OBJ Solid, and in here I'm going to assign our solid sprite. I also don't want this object to be visible, and basically what that means is uh, it will show up in our room editor but will not show up in the game. So once we're here, uh, we can create um, some solid objects. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a new instance above the floor. And we'll just call this solids with an S. And in here, we'll grab our solid object. I'll hold down Alt just to place our first one. And I just want to drag it down to make it kind of just right here at the bottom. I could even put it up one. And if I'm going to do that, then I would need to make sure my player is up above here. I want to keep my player just down on the ground here, so I will just resize it so it's that size. Alright, I'll zoom out and I just want to drag this all the way across 
so that we have one solid object right there. All right, so I'm going to put my player, I'm going to put him up just a little bit. This way we can test it when our game runs. All right, I'm going to make sure that we save this. And now I'm going to go back into our player object. And I'm going to go to the create event here, and I'm going to add some more variables. So right now we have two different states. We're going to need to add two more. We're going to have a jump state and then a falling state. We're also going to add a couple of variables. We need one for gravity, and we'll just set it to one. Uh, we're also going to need one for our vertical speed, vertical speed, and let's set it to zero for now. And finally, the jump height, so how high we want to go, and I'll just set this to 14. All right, so let's switch over to our step event, and let's actually encapsulate this here. So we'll say region animation, or actually, let's say region state machine. And we'll just bring it down one. And then finally, we'll say end region. All right, next, we're going to work on the code that's going to actually help us with our gravity. So we'll make our region for gravity. And we'll end it off here. And in here, what we want to do is say our vertical speed is going to be always having gravity applied to it. So our gravity is set to 1. So every frame, we're going to have one gravity applied to our vertical speed. So if we're not doing anything, this can become quite high, um, two, three, four, every time the frame happens. Uh, but what we want to do is once we apply this gravity, we need to see if we've hit a solid object. So we can say if place meeting at x, y plus our vertical speed, so if our vertical speed is 10, so we're going down by 10 pixels, if uh, whatever Y position we're at, say we're right here, 10 pixels below, if we have a solid object, then what we want to do is basically stop our gravity. Uh, so we'll say object solid, because that's the one we're checking for. And if we've met this, we'll say, well, we don't have anything x, y, and plus sign of vertical speed. If we don't have anything, um, in this case, below us, which happens to be object solid, then, whoops, then what we're going to do is add our y position. We're going to say plus equals 1. We could also just use uh, the sign of vertical speed because this is just saying y plus 1. So actually, let's put this in. We'll say sign of vertical speed. So whenever we don't have anything below us, it's going to increase our item by one. So if I open up our room to demonstrate this, say we're coming down at 10 pixels, and all of a sudden it sees that the solid object is 10 pixels below. It's going to go into that while statement, and it's just going to slowly go down by one pixel until we hit that solid object. And then once we hit that solid object, we need to assign our vertical speed to zero because we don't want to move anymore, um, so we don't want to actually go down through the floor. All right, so where are we here? After we do our vertical speed and we check for the solid object, we just say y plus equals our vertical speed. All right, so we have this part in here. Let's see, I have the player up in the sky a little bit, so let's hit play and see what happens. They should just uh, land on the floor and I didn't quite drag that across fast enough, but the player just kind of came down and landed on the floor. I'm not sure how I can make the window appear on this screen, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we have these two new states that we need to incorporate. And we know that, you know, right here we have some gravity, and we're checking to see if we meet the object solid. And what we can do is we can apply the different states here, and then we can handle the animations uh, in our uh, state machine up top. So what we want to do is first let's work on the falling state. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to have the state happen only when we jump. So let's actually work on both of them instead of just the single one. So after we reset the vertical speed to zero, what I want to do is I want to see if our player state is equal to falling and if it is then I want to switch it back to idle because in here we know that we've jumped 
and now we're coming down. So we need a way to switch back from our falling state into our idle state. So we can say if state is equal to our player states, and we want to say fall. Uh, so player state, yeah, player state falling. Then all we want to do is state equals player state dot idle. So if we've jumped or something, once we have returned back to vertical speed of zero, meaning we've collided with a solid object, then we're going to come out of the falling state and go to idle. And also we know that we're on the ground in this if statement here because we've collided with a solid object. This is where we want to add our jumping code. So we could say if keyboard check press, and we will assign a key over here inside our player create. Let's go down to the bottom. We'll just say jump key. And for now, I'll just say VK space. So we're going to assign our variable jump key to the space bar. So if keyboard check pressed jump key, so if they've pressed the space bar, we're going to set our vertical speed to be equals our jump, um, jump height. And we want to make sure that we put a minus sign in front of it to make it negative. So in our case, 14 will become negative 14, which will send our player up towards the sky. And in, in here, we'll change our state to equal player state dot jump. All right, so now if we run everything, we should see some jumping, although our states aren't really working here, but we should see some up and down movement. So if I jump, you can see I'm kind of up and down. And our state really here isn't working. And that's just because we're not telling our player that we are now falling. So right now he's just stuck in the jump state. So let's work on that. Uh, first, let's import some animations. We'll say SPR player jump. And I'll just capitalize our P. And I want to say edit image. And then once again, we're going to import a strip image. And let's find the item we need. And we will import, uh, what are we doing? We're doing player jump. Yeah, so we'll import player jump. Again, uh, we are at four frames, 64 by 64. And I'm using eight pixel offset and then just eight pixels in a horizontal separation. I'll hit convert and we have our jump animation here. So let's also go image and then auto trim all frames just so everything is contained and let's make a final one SPR player fall and we'll do edit image image import strip image and we'll find our fall right there player fall two frames 64 by 64 we'll fill this back in a eight and then eight separation and just like everything else we want to auto trim all frames nothing super special there all right so we'll switch back to our object player and we'll scroll up to our state machine so we have idle and step down so let's make a new case here case player state and let's start off with the jump so if we are jumping, well, then we want to set our sprite index. Sprite index is going to be SPR player jump. So now we're jumping. And we want to make sure that we don't go above the maximum frames. Because if we go to frame number four, it's going to loop back to frame number one. Now we could just toggle that. So let's give that a try first. Let's run our game. And now if I jump, you can see it's kind of acting a little bit weird there. So let's actually do this through code. Um, in our object player, in the case state of jump, what we're going to do is we're going to say if round image index is bigger or equal to round uh, image number. So if we are currently at the maximum frames, image speed is going to equal zero. 
So all we're saying here is if our current uh, frame is bigger or equal to the maximum number of frames, then stop animating. Because we use animation in everything else, I'm going to go to the top of our step, and I'm just going to make sure that animation is turned on for everything else. Now, also, when we're doing our jump, we need a way to figure out if we are at the maximum height. So basically, we need a way to say, are we falling? And we can do this by checking the vertical speed. And if the vertical speed is bigger than zero, then we know that we are going to be falling back down. And we can easily just say state equals player state dot fall or falling. Sorry. All right. And the way that this is working is because when we hit spacebar, we're going to have a negative vertical speed. But in every frame, we're going to have a gravity added onto it. So at the start, we're going to have minus 14, and over time, it will become zero and actually go into the positive, and that is when we can change the state into falling. So let's write the falling state here. So we'll say case player state dot falling, and we'll just add a break. So this one's pretty easy because all we're going to do is we're going to change the sprite index. Sprite index equals SPR player fall. All right. I'm not sure if I missed anything, but let's try it. We'll give it a run here. And I'll just pull the game over quickly. All right, so here we have our player. He's moving along. Let's try and jump. And you can see he falls. He does his jump animation. Now, the only thing, and it's really hard to see, we want to make sure that I think we've actually already done that. So we're only moving if we have the idle or step down animation. All right, so I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. We have our movement code. Um, we're making sure that we are idle or in the step down. We also check the maximum position. And then the second part, we added gravity. We check to make sure that we are hitting a solid object. And then we move towards that solid object and then change our vertical speed to zero. Uh, if our state is equal to falling in this code here, then move it back to idle. And if we press our jump key, then make sure our vertical speed is set appropriately and change our state. And then finally, move our player uh, based on the vertical speed. All right, so that brings this tutorial to an end. It's a little bit long, but hopefully you learned a few things. Um, we're going to have to start introducing some score and a couple different objects that our player can jump on or jump over. All right, I would like to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.